This is the future. Good day, my old and new Gripsonians, and welcome to your fire marshal videos. And this will be part six. Today, we're going to be discussing how to actually extinguish a fire using the pass method and what to do when you have done using your fire extinguisher and also when not to fight a fire. In the last few videos we were talking about knowing when to fight a fire, when it is big enough or small enough, also not to try and be a hero. And in today's videos we're going to basically emphasize that point and tell, tell you when not to even attempt to fight a fire. But if you feel like you want to do it and uh, you've never used a fire extinguisher before, we're going to use a very simple method that you will never ever forget how to use your extinguisher. So let's first of all talk about when not to fight a fire. Here's your Euro intro! You want to be the hero. You are not scared of anything. You want to put out that fire. But wait, when don't you fight a fire? First of all, number one, you will not go and try and fight a fire if you don't have adequate or appropriate equipment. That's why you are there to inspect the equipment to make sure they are in a good working condition. If you know you don't have adequate equipment and you know that it's not appropriate, do not try and fight the fire. When you think that you might inhale toxic smoke, don't fight the fire. Then you know your instincts. You get this, this little voice in your head. Not the one screaming at you to clean the garage and clean the house and when are you going to do this and when are you going to do that? Not that voice. The other one. The one that you basically always ignore. The one that's in your mind telling you, don't do it. That voice. If you hear that voice, listen to it. If your instincts tell you not to fight the fire, don't do it. Okay. And then the final rule is always have a means of escape. Don't get trapped. Have an exit at your back at all times before you attempt to use a fire extinguisher. Let's say everything is fine, the fire is small, it's contained, you just want to go and put it out, but you've never actually used a fire extinguisher before. What would you do? Well, I want you to remember the small acronym called PASS. 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 P-A-S-S. -S. Your first P will be pull the safety pin. Pulling the safety pin will allow you to discharge the extinguishing agent. Then A. Aim at the base of the fire. If you aim for the flames itself, the powder or the gas will go through the flames and do no good. You need to hit the fuel. So you need to hit for the base of the fire. But please be careful of liquid fire. If a liquid is in a pot or a pan or in a contained area, you're going to extinguish with the powder right into the liquid. It will push the liquid out of the container and spread the fire all over the place. So try and be level with the liquid so that you can get the powder or gas on top of that liquid and not into the liquid. Your first S will be squeeze. That means squeezing the top trigger and the handle together. This will depress a button that will release the pressurized extinguishing agent in the extinguisher. And then the last S will be sweep. Sweep slowly from side to side, not too fast. If you're gonna sweep like this, you're actually going to create the oxygen to come in behind your sweeps and that will actually feed the fire. You will actually give oxygen to the flames if you do this. So just do this. Sweep gradually from side to side to basically pour the powder over the area. Okay, so that is it. Let's go and put out a fire. Let me go and show you practically how it's done. Some key points to remember. Number one, discharge your fire extinguisher at a safe distance for three reasons. 
Reason number one is to test it, to see if it's actually working. Number two will be to see in which direction the wind is blowing. So you can see the powder and see in what direction the wind is going because you want to approach with the wind behind you. So that if you use the extinguisher, the wind will actually help carry this powder along. So it will actually push the powder further, which will assist you in putting out the fire. And thirdly, remember what we said last week, don't start too early because by the time you get to the fire, your extinguisher is empty. So you will actually see the distance of the stream, so you will know when to start to use the extinguisher safely. Once the fire is extinguished, back away from the fire. Don't turn your back on it. Back away, keep your eye on that area and look for reignition. Look for any spot fires or anything that might reignite. So what do you do with an extinguisher once it's empty? Well, the easiest thing is put it down on the ground on its side. That will show to anyone else that this extinguisher is empty or has been used and should not be used again. Okay, so once you've used it, put it down on its side and then get a new one as soon as possible. And that's that. Let's do a quick summary. Do not fight a fire if you do not have adequate equipment or if you are scared you're going to inhale toxic smoke. Always listen to that little voice inside your head, your instincts and always have a means of escape or at least an exit before attempting to use a fire extinguisher. Remember the acronym PASS. First B, pull the pin. Then aim for the base of the fire, squeeze the handle and trigger together and sweep until the fire is out. And lastly, use the extinguisher from a safe distance away. Firstly to test it, to see what is the stream's reach and to see the direction of the wind. When fire is extinguished, back away from the fire. Do not turn your back on it and place extinguisher down on its side. Next week, we will be discussing alarms and evacuation drills or the actual evacuation. And with that, there's a couple of dangers that you have to look for. Let's say you are trapped in the building. What do you do when you are trapped? And what do the rest do when evacuating? So we will be talking about things like flashovers and backdrafts. Okay, so you won't want to miss the next video. Coming to that point, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this video and hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my next upload and my next video that will be coming. And please, whatever you are doing, keep it safe. And until next time, cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there is now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cryptzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where I do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers